naked! Oh, hey, check this out. We have several, several IKEA bags full of product that we have priced for our antique malls. So today's gonna be a pretty busy day. We're gonna try to run to all three of our antique malls, restock them. However, I do have a shelf that I've repaired that has to go to one of our antique malls. So we're in the old bread truck right now. Old trusty bread truck. I haven't driven it in several weeks since we bought our smart car. So it's been sitting and it has just, I dropped you. It has just recently gotten hot. And as soon as it gets hot here in Phoenix, that's when batteries die. So hopefully I haven't messed up. Hopefully this bad boy will start. Come on, baby. Let's go. Old trustworthy here. I don't hear the power steering acting up. It leaks power steering fluid really bad. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't leaked at all. It's such a beautiful van. I'm so excited to drive it now. It is a little hot, so we gotta we gotta turn the fans on and leave the doors open. But hey, stick around. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, it's been a month or so since you've ridden in the bread truck. A month or so of driving around in the smart car. How do you now feel about the bread truck? Do you miss it? No, Got I'm it? hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hot in here. Um, I will say going from three cylinders from the last month now to eight, pretty crazy feeling on the, on the gas pedal foot. I mean, that's five cylinders, man. My right foot feels powerful. <laughs> Speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I braced myself. <laughs> I've got to go one mile an hour over speed bumps in the smart car. This just eats speed bumps for breakfast. It was easy. That was smooth. I could I could go over at full speed. You wouldn't notice. Do it. Oh, you want me to do it? All right. <laughs> no problems. No problems. <laughs> I think the best thing one can do before they do antique mall restocking and shopping is to put our Bucky's bandana. I like this bandana a lot. It's high quality. You know how you buy the cheap bandanas sometimes and they're real starchy and just not. This feels good. This feels good on the forehead. Not that I have a tender forehead or nothing. I don't I don't need the YouTube comments saying a tendo, you know, he has a tender forehead. <laughs> Was that, was that funny? Is that anything like a narrow urethra? <laughs> Tender well, forehead. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> you, that's what we need is the YouTube comments going. You know, Hannah has a narrow urethra. No. If you haven't watched King of the Hill, this is going to make zero sense to you. Unless you have a narrow urethra, then you're going to feel attacked. Just watch King of the Hill. Best TV show ever made. <laughs> Second to Steven Universe. I just realized I forgot my Steven Universe backpack. I said I was going to wear it today. I'm not used to having it. Let's see, what bags go here? I don't even know. Um, I thought you priced a bunch of video games. Not for sure, they were all oh. the other. I forgot where we were. Yeah, we only have one bag. Yeah, we only have three to go to. Or, okay, there's for sure only one. I don't want to get to the next mall and find a bag for here, which yeah. I've done before because I'm a piece of trash. All right, I'm excited about this though. We, we haven't been here in like, Ugh, like two or three weeks. I don't know, like right after we got back from Vegas, I think it was the last time we're here. So it's probably gonna be trash. So prepare for lots of Nerf guns on the floor. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Keep the narrow urethra comments to yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was funny. You've never even watched me. Either. I haven't. <laughs> also, I forgot my cell phone. Oops. We'll wait. Alright, let's do it. You see my underwear hanging out at the bottom of my shorts? It's a look. What do you do when your underwear are bigger than your shorts? <laughs> you just let it be! You just do it. I mean... You see that? They were definitely judging me for the underwear. Well, it's because you look ridiculous right now. I kick! <laughs> <laughs> So it is in fact not terribly destroyed in here. I know why though. Some of you awesome people sometimes come in here and clean it up when things are on the floor. Uh, 
you guys are the real MVPs. We don't have a lot to restock here. Uh, you know, just the little things. Mr. Meeseeks, best Rick and Morty character. Got a lot of keychains to put on the wall. Not a lot else. Batman that I picked up at the thrift the other day. We're also gonna do some shuffling of some shelves. So Hannah, I'm gonna throw all this stuff in these shelves in the cart. If you keep putting stuff away, I'm gonna go bring the other shelf in, uh, take these out, and then you can restock. The reason that we're doing that is the next antique mall that we're gonna go to, we're working really hard to turn it into nothing but media, video games, CDs, movies, VHS, that kind of thing. Uh, Cause that stuff's been doing really well there. And we'd like to see what a booth does when it's just all that stuff. So these shelves, these little shelves are perfect for CDs and such. So they're gonna do perfect there. Cause otherwise they annoy me cause there's no great way to put toys on them. <laughs> You can do it. Beep, beep. That's a bit obnoxious. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. Shelf delivery. It's a whole lot of yellow. I hope there's enough room right there for it. <laughs> it's like a glove, except for I've got a little screw hook on there. It's got to come off. Or it's not going to fit. I'll handle that though. Now let's go look at some stuff. It's been a little while since I've looked for Game Boy games and such here. There's one booth right down here I always want to check on. He's got what I like. There's always some interesting stuff tucked in here. Oh, that's awesome. Batman cards, a lot of them. All right, not saying anything I gotta get right now. I do like that watch though. Yeah, boy, Pogs. Ooh, they're cheap. These slammers are expensive, that's beautiful. These dollar ones, they're all Coca-Cola Pops. Pogs, I call them Pops. All right, well, you're all mine now. We'll buy every one of them. Make sure there's no sleeves in there. There are some Game Boy games here, but none in box. Ooh, I'd love to have Princess Peach. 20 bucks, that's fair. Lots of boots in here with Pokemon cards and a lot of video games. Just looking for them uh, Game Boy games, you know? Wow, there's a lot going on in here. Oh man, look at all this Nintendo. Wow. It's a lot. I'd like to see some prices on some of it. 29 on the cleaner cartridge. It's the only price I can see. All right. I really wanted to do some, I would, don't want to say hardcore shopping, but I fully intended coming here today to look in those lock boxes, maybe find some Game Boy game stuff, but I bought a bunch of Coca-Cola Pogs. That's pretty cool. Cause you know, Game Boy Tindo collects Pogs. Pogs are nice. Now, uh, next antique mall. Actually, you know what, let's do this. Why don't you guys ride out here? We'll be in here where it's like comfortable with the fans. You guys, sit out right here. How's that feel? Just look down a little bit so you see the, see the front of the van.
How was the ride? Did you like it? Did you like it? Gotta get gas. I haven't put gas in this thing in a while. It's gonna suck. Cause I'm gonna put 35 in it. And by the time we get home, it's probably gonna be gone. And uh, that 35 lasts like two weeks in our smart car. We are at Brass Armadillo number two. We've got quite a bit more for this one. Uh, lots of books, VHS, DVDs. This booth is going to be in the next month or two. Nothing but media. Still stocking a couple more things here though because we don't have quite enough to fill it with nothing but media, but we're working on it. Just nothing but VHS tapes and DVDs. Somebody around here is yelling about something. Uh, I need to take these shelves and food. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, these new shelves are all right. They're not quite filled out yet, but they will be with pretty much music CDs. Those shelves are perfect for music CDs, so they'll be filled up with that soon, but all done here. Let's go shop in here just a little bit, and then we'll go to our last antique mall. This is probably that same person from the last antique mall. Same setup, same stuff going on. Some card sleeves down here I might buy. Five, five, six. I don't know if I need those off the top of my head, but at any rate, they're hard to find, so. Five dollars is a pretty reasonable price. I'll think about it. Keep looking and I'll come back. I should probably find out how much this is. One of those Furby, what are they called? Furby rockers? I've got two. I don't have that one. Maybe I can see a price down here. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, price tags on the back. I want that. I'm probably gonna call somebody and see. Make sure there's nothing else in here I need to look at. And a Mayhem cards, big stack of them for 13, uh, 11 bucks in the pet cards. And I want those anime ham cards, but I'm not gonna pay that much for them. <laughs> Got a Furby Rockers. We're gonna call somebody and see how much they are. Cool. See anything else in here? Some four things. Some ponies. Ooh. They're the funny looking ones. Yeah. Oh, hello. hello. Bucks. What are you gonna look at? Does he shut up on me? <laughs> oh, oh my You'll God. probably want to go set him down, not until. I had one of these things on someone. How in God's green earth can you get them to be quiet? You gotta put them in the dark or you gotta take the batteries out of them. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think this one has a light sensor like the original one does. He's just re he's responding to the motion. If you don't touch him for a while, he'll be quiet. Oh, wow. $13. I've got him like six but times. That's in box. That's pretty cool. It's $13. I don't know. That's your call. Do you have anything up front? Uh, no. <laughs> that's awful. Losing his mind. Your first name? Uh, Dallas. That's even worse than the original ones. It is. That's obnoxious. Bring that out when your mother-in-law comes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Look at all this. Look at that mimicky. Oh, that. I would love to find that in the wild. These are cute. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I can still hear that Furby up at the cash register just screaming its head off. <laughs> it's so upset. It's so obnoxious. Ooh, look at those. Inbox. $65 a piece. I don't know about all that. Did you end up buying that brat stuff? I didn't. It was a little too overpriced. Oh, was it? I guess it's just going to be that way for inbox brat stuff because, I mean, we've lucked out, what, twice now and found an inbox? Yeah. You probably would have bought it, though, if it was full-size brats. That was, that was like baby brats, right? Yeah. That was more so, like, I do get those. Like, I have a few of them, but I'm not, like, diehard collecting those. Well, I'm cursed with Furbies. They actually, uh took the batteries out. Did you see that catch? Hands. Uh, they took the batteries out at the cash register because it wouldn't shut up. I've never seen one go that crazy. Even the original ones aren't that bad. 
Uh, but he was going nuts. He wouldn't take a breath. He's probably my new favorite. Uh, I think they're called rockers. Yeah, uh, he's my new favorite one of those. Cause he's just dumb. I like that color scheme. I've got a Furby baby that's that exact same color scheme. All right, one more antique. I feel like we're doing a marathon, you know? Oh, hey. We're at the last stop. We got like three bags for this place. We're gonna get stocked up. And then I have to eat something. On a scale of one to hungry, I'm like a Snorlax. Big hunger. You only laugh if the joke is terrible. You know that? <laughs> it's a sympathy laugh. I gotta make sure I get everything out of here. I don't wanna get back home with more things left in the van. This person always has a bunch of games. No inbox Game Boy game stuff though. Out of bottom. There's just no way all three of our booths were that clean. One of y'all done it. All right, there it is. Three toy booths. This one, uh, this one's been, been doing really well. Have you ever heard of Cookie Happy Hour? That's a real thing. They're so big and they're so good. Which one do you want to get? Not the one covered in icing. That looks like a toothache. Oh, but that's the one I like. That's the, I think that's the oh, orange one. Oh, are we splitting one? one? Yeah. Uh, do you want your own? Uh, if that's what you want, that's fine. I just don't need to eat a whole one. Or we'll get two and I'll eat your other half. <laughs> I bet you will. Um, yeah. I think that, one, that one's coconut. Dark chocolate coconut, M&M, and doodle, orange, lemon, walnut chocolate chip. What's not good to you? Oatmeal, peanut I'll have butter a breakfast. Walnut chocolate chip. What was like the first thing I said to the camera when this episode started? I talked about our van maybe not starting up because it gets hot here and batteries die. It has just recently gotten hot. And as soon as it gets hot here in Phoenix, that's when batteries die. Our last stop today, it's not starting up. It seems to me like it's the battery. So luckily we have our rolly cart here with us today. So I'm gonna roll this battery down to Napa Auto Parts like a block down. Get it tested, probably buy a new battery. I hope that's all it is. I really don't need it to be anything more serious than that. So you go inside, tell them we're leaving the van here. I'm gonna get this bad boy out. I got a, another bolt holding it down. I'm gonna figure out how to get out. Thank God we brought the rolly cart today because I'd probably have to Uber. I wouldn't carry this battery for three blocks. I'm strong, but I don't know if I'm that strong, but rolly cart's perfect. He's a champ. I just hope it's only the battery. The battery's def definitely reading dead on my meters and stuff, so it's got to be it. If, it's, if it's a starter, I've already replaced one starter this year. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> All right, we're on the corner of a major intersection, and it's just literally one, one city block back to the antique malls. But I think the map says that the auto store is right here in this complex across the street. So, oh, if it's just right here, we, we lucked out. Let's go. Where is it? Be like back oh, there. Let's go right this way. You good? It doesn't take curbs well. Do you want to get in it, Rod? <laughs> it might be over the weight limit. I don't know. I don't want to break it. That thing is too useful. Oh, I know. What's up? <laughs> what did they say? Vlog squad. Oh. They're, They're trolling on us. Did they say Vlog Squad? Is that yeah. what they said? I was about to say, if they said her name, that'd be weird. I'm a, I'm being a vlogger. I'm being real obvious right now. Yeah. Well, it's a weird, unfortunate truth. Nine out of 10 people you'll see walking down the street, talking to a camera. Won't have much of a following, but I feel like 10,000 of you guys is a pretty good excuse to talk to the camera. So I'm, I'm not feeling bad about it. All right. I see the uh, auto store sign. This complex is huge. It is. You know, one of the most asked questions we get is, do you feel weird about people seeing you film? And I mean, you certainly will starting out, but like, what are those guys gonna do? Hey, <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. I mean, you just get used to it after a while. Do you see it? I see it. Okay. This is the biggest parking lot I've ever walked across, so. 
baseball squad. I think that's uh, what David Dobrik calls his his squad. Uh, and they're all in a little bit of trouble right now, so let's maybe not shout vlog squad across the parking lot. There it is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, if they test this battery and say there's nothing wrong with the battery, we're just gonna stay here. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing this today. We live here now. I'm telling you, wait till I play the beginning of this video back for you. You weren't out there while I was doing it. But I said to the camera, as soon as it gets hot here, batteries die. Batteries die. And the van wasn't terribly well taken care of when we bought it. I had to do a lot of restoration to the engine and stuff, replacing hoses, flushing major, the radiator, stuff like that. I'm not gonna be surprised if the battery wasn't well kept. So fingers crossed they plug it up and they're like, yep, new battery. We'll spend 100 bucks, 150 bucks. We'll be fine. If I gotta replace the starter though, I'm not doing it today. We're Ubering home. Uh, yeah. We're gonna Uber to a restaurant right next to home. <laughs> we're gonna eat and go home and I'll come deal with it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Could turn into like a week-long saga saving the bread van episodes one through five. Oh no Here, put this over out of the way you able to plug it up and tell me what it looks like uh, I mean I would say it's bad it says charge and retest that's because I put it that you haven't tried to charge it all I can fix yeah. if I had I charge it at 650 cranky amps which I'm guessing that that's what that is so there's only six cranky amps in it okay uh, it's a step van bread truck p30 uh, right 91 p30 step van what 92 I feel pretty good about it it was when he plugged it up I saw his machine it read 12 volts and I was like oh no but it's got plenty of voltage it just doesn't have enough amps so it won't click up high enough for my starter to even turn over so it's just this heat it's just this summer heat it's not even that hot yet so actually I'm a little thankful it happened this month instead of like next month we go out to restock and then, and then I'm doing this in 120 degree heat it's not death defyingly hot right now it's just you know just annoyingly hot so let's go put it back in the van and to be honest with you we were going to go to the thrift store and at least hit one before we went home don't know if i'm feeling that now if this thing starts we're probably gonna just drive it straight home and rethink our lives i agree <laughs> <laughs> betsy her name is not betsy did we name the van we should have a name it's no. betsy F it. betsy i'm sorry betsy too i have i have a new battery i have a new heart it's really annoying to get in and out of there. That came off. That was riveted on. The rivets came off. Okay. Plus and minus. You gotta get this part right. Grab me a grab me that screwdriver. I need to rough up the contacts a little bit. Here, it's right here. Just need to. You know, give it some fresh metal. All right. Negative. Let's do positive first. Positive in. All right. Negative in. All right. Hopefully she fires right up. Oh, please. My overflow tank for our radiator is empty too, so we need to get some distilled water in there or some fluid. Do we have any radiator fluid in the back? Uh, love to check, but I don't well, know. Why don't you look? We made it home safe, and our van is driving noticeably better than it was, which means the battery's been going out, and that long sit in our parking lot as it warmed up definitely tanked what little life that battery had left in it. But we're home, and since I bought two things today, Furby and Pog, I'm gonna just show off my Pog collection and my Furby collection, but not all of it, just the little ones. You can see in the... <sighs> all right, we made it home without problems. That battery is exactly what the van needed. Matter of fact, I think even before we parked it for the last month, I think that battery's already going out because it's acting just a little bit better than it was even before we parked it. So 
that's good. I'm glad that's all it was. Glad I didn't have to do any serious mechanic work because I really didn't want to. Who does? I'm going to show off my baby Furby collection today, as well as, look at this, my Pog collection. Because that's the only thing we bought today, so I figured we'd take the time to show that stuff off. Uh, I was right, almost. These are called Furby Party Rockers. I have one in box that you guys sent me. I found this one in the Vegas bins, and I bought this one today. I thought about putting the batteries back in for the wrap-up, but it wouldn't have shut up the whole time. I don't think you guys want to listen to it for 10 minutes. But... I have three of them. I don't remember how many of them there are total. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot of them at all. So I shouldn't have a hard time securing the rest of those. Uh, but they're the same generation. There's four of them total? I think so. Hannah thinks there's four. I'll, I'll look it up and put it on the screen. Uh, where is... So, this generation of Furby. It's kind of their baby Furby, right? Because the original Furby which looked like this had uh, kind of a later generation that looked the exact same, but was smaller, okay? And whenever I say little Furby, I have to be careful to point out which one it is because you don't want to get it confused with the ones that came from McDonald's, right? Which are even smaller. You can almost do the old school singular bars with them, right? Doop, doop, doop. But these were essentially the babies for this generation here which was what you said it earlier 2012 2012 so i don't know exactly what years of these came out but it had been slightly after this you can kind of tell it's got the same stuff going on right so that's that i have three of those now and if hannah's right there's only four we almost got them all which is really awesome the fact that i haven't even gotten any doubles and that would if that turns out to be true or even whatever it is there's not a lot of them that'll be my first complete furby collection which means it's neck and neck with my Furby keychains, which I'll take you over here real quick and show you. I'm missing just one of them. So, you know, I might finish those first. I might finish these party rockers first. But that's those. I'm glad that you got to take a look at them because I'm very proud of them. Now let's look down at these pogs. I've got a pretty awesome pog collection, I think. The best stuff was sent by you guys, which is this stadium here. And I, I love this thing. I can't believe I have it, but it's like a official championship, like playing arena for Pogs. And then I've got some really cool like storage cases and stuff also. My slammers basically live in here, which I'm very happy with. But this was the first thing I ever brought home that was Pogs uh, at all on this channel. And I actually got this today at our last antique mall, the one where our van broke down. I got this at a flea market there on like probably our 20th episode, not very far in. So that was really good. Um, but the pogs I brought home today, I figured I'd go ahead and add them to my collection. You might as well watch me while I do it. They're almost all Coca-Cola, which is cool. So like I'm going to grab a tube and it's going to be nothing but Coca-Cola pogs. One bag was different though. This one, this was a dollar bag and they're all... Casey Cap Stompers, they're all monster trucks, which is super awesome. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably just throw these in the stadium. They're not Pog branded, neither are these Coca-Cola ones. A lot of the ones I have in the stadium are Pog branded and almost all, if not all, Pog branded Pogs are gonna say Pog like that on the back. But also I've got a lot of my Power Ranger collection in here, just cause I like to kind of keep it all in one place. But it's kind of crazy how many of these Coca-Cola Pogs there were. Now, I think these actually might be numbered, which will be cool because I could line them up and see if I have the whole set. Coke Cap, five of eight. If that's really it, if there's only eight in the whole set, I think that means we're about to have the whole set multiple times, which means maybe I'll just keep one of each and send the rest of them down the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that really it? No, there's more. That means there's multiple sets. Series two? Okay, I'm seeing now. These are all series two. Series two. Okay, so that means some of these here are of a different series. This must be series one because it doesn't say anything. Well, cool. I bet the whole set's there, though, between all these bags. That's pretty cool. You guys comment below. Do any of you collect Pogs? I'd ask, well, I guess I could ask if any of you collect Furbies. I do know a pretty regular comment now as uh, people are like, 
sheepishly now admitting in the comments that they're too collecting Furbies just because they watch this channel so much. They found one or two at their thrift store. They just couldn't help leave them behind, which I can appreciate because I did start the uh, hashtag no Furby left behind trend. You know what I mean? So comment below if you guys either collect any of this stuff when you see it out in the wild or if you just buy it for resale. The Furby resale market turns out it's pretty good i mean that's why we started buying them in the first place we've sold probably 10 of them in our first year of doing videos and doing resell and uh, we sold them on ebay and there was a couple that were worth the pretty penny that i now kind of wish i hadn't gotten rid of because we've got quite the growing family back here even board games furbies naked furbies that's weird mcdonald's furbies pop furbies you name it we've got them back there but uh i'm interested to know what you guys got going on do you like Furbies or do you just think they're creepy? I love, I've got an irrational love for them. Does that sound weird, Hannah? <laughs> All right, let me, what else do we need to talk about before we get out of here? Uh, check out our merch store. Actually, our merch is now on our YouTube video. So just scroll down right below this video. You can check out our new merch. Um, there's a really awesome new tra uh, Trash Panda shirt, which Hannah is wearing right here. Check that out. I wear the sweatshirt every day. Yeah, it's <laughs> when we get home, I keep it really cold in the house, so Hannah puts it on straight away. Check that out. It's only going to be around for about a month, and then we're going to roll out a new shirt every month and once a month give one of them away on our live shows, which is Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So put that on your calendar, and I think it's a couple weeks from now. You can come by, and we'll give away the new shirt, whatever it's going to be. But it's going to be, you know, trash-themed and what we're doing here check that out also before we go hit the subscribe button help us get to 15,000 subs i was gonna say 10,000 subs but we just got there like a couple weeks ago so we appreciate your help with that and outside of that just know we post daily videos on this channel so we'd love to have you back tomorrow so until then peace out why are you meowing <laughs> I'm, I'm right at the end of the video my cat's just hold on you guys gotta see pants before we go why why the angry meows I always forget to put you up before we start filming. Do you want to go for a walk? He's mad we're not paying attention to him. <laughs> does he... Oh, he looks so happy now. Does he really? He's like snoozy. Look at him. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, sleepy boy. Do you like Furby? I wish we had the batteries in this now. Oh. He'd freak out. He doesn't like them, but he warms up to them quickly. He doesn't look like he likes them. All right, for real this time. Peace out.